one. Okay. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I am so, so sorry that I am not posting a lot. School, first off. Homework, second off. There's a bunch of other stuff I do that blocks me from doing this. this on a daily basis, third off, what, just whatever, I could just put a whole pile of excuses. Some of those are actual reasons, though. But anyways, today we're going to look on my X360. As you may remember, I did do a few videos with my Xbox 360, which were like gaming videos. But anyways... Today we're going to be focusing on the amazing Spider-Man for the Xbox 360. Yes, I pre-ordered it. Um, pff, no, I meant, yes, I got this from GameStop. It was pre-owned. Just getting that out of the way. Some features. And today, I pretty much have every unlockable suit that you can get in the map. Because I don't have the all the new black suit because I have no idea how to do it. And I do not have the trilogy suit because since this was pre-owned, I don't think the person who originally owned this pre-ordered it, meaning that this is probably this is probably most likely not the pre-ordered version. So anyways, without with that out of the way, I'm just going to rank this these suits from worst to best. And keep in mind this is all my opinion. So if you like some of these suits it's better than what I place them, it's fine, it's my opinion. So, if there are some suits you like at the very bottom, that are at the very bottom, I meant, then sure. Sure, it's your opinion. Like I said, this is all my opinion. And being said, I would not include the default suits because I, meant, I would not include the original suits. Meaning the ones with the belt and no belt because the, those are pretty much the default suits. You automatically get them. So with that out of the way, let's sit at the very, oh, very bottom. The cross species. Just, just, ew! <laughs> like, and I forgot to say, this is purely based on the looks. And judging by this, ew, 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 ew. Just nope, 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 nope. I could easily just, just everything about it is ew. These eye, eyes, it's just, just, the main part that makes this so gross is the eyes, just the face, the face. That's it. So I'm done. See? Too gross. Okay, I was just kidding. I am still raking these, but... Ew! Ew, witty. Ew, ew, ew. I could just keep on saying ew forever. So... Just saying, this is all... The ew, itty ew, witty ew. Guys, I know this is gonna get cring. This is already cringy, and I uh, this is it's gonna take so so long for me to get done with this. And still, this is my opinion. So if you like this suit, it's fine. I'm pretty sure this is mo. Most of the bottoms. I'm pretty sure that th this is on the bottom of most people's lists anyway. So, yeah. Coming up next, I'll say the Scarlet Spider. 
because I mean this is a pretty decent suit to be honest the red and black fit per perfectly but when you come to think about it to me it is decent it's fine but a little bit too muscular other it's like the muscular level is a bit toned up a little more than these other suits I'm about to mention. And, yeah. Okay, you want to know what? I actually meant to say the negative zone. I didn't plan this out, so I guess the Scarlet Spider suit is going to be on top of this one. What I like, want to say about this is that I like it. Like I said for the Scarlet Spider suit, it's pretty decent. But the thing that ruined the suit for me was the fact that it that it's in the original Negative Zone comics, it was probably and most likely black and white. And to me, if all this gray stuff was replaced with white, that would have made this higher on the list. Because the black and gray doesn't do it for me. And like I told you guys, this, this was going to be above it. Like I said, I didn't plan it out. So ye. But it is a little too muscular for me, like... Yeah, I can feel myself kind of adjusting to it a little every time I see it. But what I like about it is that I like how they paid attention to detail in the spandex. Like, isn't this a spandex suit? And I'm pretty sure that Scarlet Spider was a clone no matter what version. Whether it's the Ben Riley version or the 2012 Ultimate Spider-Man TV series version. So, yeah. <laughs> Coming up next is the Future Foundation. This is actually kind of good, to be honest. It's one of the great ones. I would, I am definitely seeing myself right now swinging in this if I didn't have any other of these suits. Like, if I compared this to the negative zone suit, I would definitely, out of everything, just pick this. Like, you can already tell why, why it, it's this far on my list. Because they align this so well. Like, ooh, the... Black and white fits so perfectly. It looks so futuristic. Maybe that's why they call it the Future Foundation suit. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Can't believe I just made that cringy pun. <laughs> and now coming up next. On my suit list would have to be the classic black suit. Keep in mind that I keep in mind that I said that. Okay, uh, how am I supposed? To, what I meant to say was, what I meant to say was, if you remember earlier in this video, I said that I didn't have the new black suit. Otherwise, it. Okay, I don't have the new black suit because I have no idea how to get it. Comment down below, or if any of you guys are watching this and you and you make videos, then please, out of everything, show me how. Just please. To be honest, if you don't know this, what this variation of the black suit is, you might be familiar with the comic suit. But this is the black suit with the variation. 
in this variation of the, uh, this variation of the black suit is from I'm gonna be, do a bit of searching 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 Searching. This variation of the black suit comes from the following movie, Spider-Man 3. In which, to be honest, no matter what variation, the black suit is actually one of my favorite suits, making it so far up in this list. You know, to be honest, I should have shuffled this spot with the Future Foundation suit because you can already tell. But it works no matter what. It works no matter which spots in which. They're just one of the far up spots. They're in the top three. So whatever. And... And the number one suit is, you probably read in the description, and, or you already know that this is the last, this is the one that I left out, but it goes to the big time, like seriously, who would not want this suit? Because it has the black and green in type of style. To you guys, it might look more yellow, but trust me, it's green. But seriously, I will select this suit. I will select this suit. <laughs> To mind that those my notifications. And and I'll show you why. As you already know, it, it is great in the in the daytime, just great. And as you can see, it's going into the nighttime, in which that's what I'm about to show you. Tell me this will work. Tell me this works. And you can see me recording. Oof. Great. I'm going to have to hold this just perfect. Perfect. I said catch it. Tell me this works. I'm trying to set this up. as you can see but I'm swinging right now in the nighttime and as you can see it actually glows in the dark because it's the nighttime and if this was any other suit then it wouldn't glow then it wouldn't glow but with this suit oh it's a big different it's a differently big story. Just gonna go back to my apartment and give you the 
that was just me going out of focus with what I was originally doing there. But anyways, and yes, I have a weird habit of doing that, so don't judge. It isn't a weird habit, but it's a habit nonetheless. Guys, as you can see, it's going to come up at some point. Proof enough. Smooth way out. But you can actually see it does glow a little bit. It actually does kind of glow in the dark. So, yeah. And that was my list. And that was my... And that was my list for the Amazing Spider-Man suits ranked from worst to best. And and like I said earlier, I didn't include the... Like I said earlier, I didn't include the default suits because those are the main suits. The default suit is is basically the main suit of this whole thing. So yeah. Anyways, that was my list for all the Spidey suits that I was able to get ranked worst to best. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and and it subs and subscribe and hit the notifications button or the notes button like I always say to guys to you guys so you wouldn't make miss any video that I post and like I said sorry about me not posting much I'll be sure to post and maybe if we hit at least one like, just a single like for this video, you might even do one for, well, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Anyways, that's it. Thanks. Thank you guys. For watching and I will see you guys in the next video see you later alligators